I'm the leader of the Inclusive National Justice, Economic and Civic Transformation Party of Kenya, which is also known as the Inject Party of Kenya and the Kenyan Home Movement. And today I've been saddened after watching a video of Bruce, who was sodomized in a very sad event in Mombasa. 25-year-old Bruce John, who goes by the name Chawa001, was abducted and sodomized on the September 12th of 2024. He was picked up by more than 20 people from his home, some of whom were county officials, allegedly to go and apologize to the governor of Mombasa, Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, for criticizing the county government of Mombasa. The gentleman was instead not taken to Tamarind Hotel, where I'd been told that he would apologize to the governor, but was instead uh, sodomized in Miritini area and later dumped near Mwakiru Mwakirunge dump site. This is a very sad event, and much as uh, some of the suspects have been arrested and charged in court, we cannot be a country where we only arrest the small fish. The Inspector General of Police, Douglas Kanja, should come out clearly and tell the nation whether the governor of Mombasa, Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, is above the law. These people clearly did not do this evil act by themselves. This was a coordinated attack against the Constitution and against the freedom of expression to pick up a young gentleman in his 25 years full of dreams and full of hopes and to destroy his life by turning him on his back and sodomizing him in a very, very sad event, which I've watched on video and I've been unable to watch it twice. I'm under a lot of pain and anger after watching this video, and I believe this is the feeling of most of the Kenyans. And therefore, I would like to issue a statement and state as follows. I am giving the Inspector General of Police, Douglas Kanja, an ultimatum to arrest the Governor of Mombasa, Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, to answer to charges of being an accessory to crime and being a conspirator to crime. Sodomy is such a demeaning thing to any man or to any boy. It destroys a person's life and their dreams and their hope of ever living a normal life again. I know Bruce has received treatment, but I don't know whether if that happened to you or to your son or to your brother, whether they will ever be able to live a normal life again. If the governor of Mombasa is not investigated, arrested and charges preferred upon him for conspiring, hiring these criminals, then I'm ready, willing, and able to stop all my activities and lead a nationwide demonstration to demand for accountability of this governor. We have become a nation that is tolerant to criminals and to make it worse we've even elected criminals into our elective institution. Today in parliament we have a person who shot someone during election day. That person died, the family lost someone, people cried and to this day we've not seen accountability. We live in a country where several people died in Shakahola. The government has never been accountable as to how many people died, why they died, and who killed them, but instead has gone for the small fish. We live in a country where people have been abducted, tortured, and killed, and some have been found in quarries, and there has been no accountability. No single police officer has been arrested. None of them has been charged in court. The Independent Police Oversight Authority keeps pussyfooting on this issue, yet they are funded by taxpayers' money to work. So we wonder what work they are doing. We live in a country where several bodies were retrieved from quarry, and to this day, 
The person who killed them was released from jail. And the police tried to lie to us that this person escaped through a gap in the wire mesh. A gap that had already rusted, which was clearly not a fresh cut. There has been no accountability for those deaths in a police orchestrated escape. We cannot continue like this. We cannot continue as a country that glorifies criminality, glorifies the torture and killing of citizens, glorifies the demeaning and the complete annihilation of life like the way it has been done to Bruce who has been turned on his back and sodomized. Therefore, this is a warning to the new Inspector General. The Constitution gives you independent powers as the, inspector, as the Inspector General of our nation to be independent and to exercise your power independently. If you are unable to do so, I would like to let you know that you drive public money, you sleep in public money, you eat public money, the uniform you are wearing is public money, the gun you have is public money, the bullets you have are public money. The public even buys you airtime. If you are unable to work, your tenure is going to be the shortest tenure of any inspector general. And I'm not just speaking for myself, but of, on behalf of very many Kenyans who are pained by the sheer lack of compassion that is with the people that hold high offices, including the office of the DCI. Therefore, the Inspector General together with the DCI, Mohamed Amin, if we do not see action within the next few days, be assured, be rest assured, take it as a joke at your own risk, that we are going to demonstrate non-stop, day and night without stop, until the perpetrators of this heinous crime are brought to book.